2024 is Jasper. Mortimer, is at those talks in Istanbul. He's standing right in front of the building, where they're taking place and joins me now from there. Jasper. What are the two sides really aiming for in these talks today? What the Ukrainians have said, their minimum goal is a measure of humanitarian relief. They want their civilians to be able to evacuate the besieged cities such as Mariupol on an ideological level. They've said they're prepared to forego, Ukraine. Ambitions to join NATO. And that Ukraine will be a neutral state in the foreseeable future. They've said their maximum goal from these talks, taking place in the building behind me is a ceasefire. Now on the Russian side, a ceasefire is very much in the Russians' hands, you know. This war is a Russian offensive on Ukrainian territory and the Russians know that a ceasefire will not only allow civilians has to evacuate besieged cities which would make the Russians look good, but too little also enable the Ukrainians to repair their infrastructure. Get the water and electricity running again, and for Ukraine to receive the weapons, the anti-tank missiles, anti-aircraft missiles that the West has pledged to provide Ukraine but which the West hasn't yet delivered as you were saying in your introduction, the war. Something going very well for the Russians in recent days. And I don't think they in any mood to allow the Ukrainians to regroup and replenish their weapons. The Jasper won bone of contention. Of course, in this crisis, has been the eastern region of Donbass that Moscow wants Ukraine to give to pro-Russian separatists. It had seemed over the weekend that perhaps the Ukrainian president might be willing to negotiate a bit more on that region. Is that still the case? No, it is not. You're correct on the weekend, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky gave an interview to Russian journalists in which he said on Donbass, a compromise was possible. And this was interpreted to mean that he was prepared to concede territory in that eastern part of Ukraine, where Russian separatists have been Russian-backed. Separatists have been fighting. The landscape quickly walked back from that comment and said that, no, territorial concessions will be made and I think internationally it is important that Solinsky holds that line because there are territorial disputes all over the world. And if Russia gains from this invasion, other countries will think that the way to settle a territorial dispute is just to march in China, which claims Taiwan is watching this war. Very close. Leslie Casper. Thank you so much for that Jasper Mortimer. Their reporting